okay this is the second part of how to make a preset parameters in pure data so you can follow me uh, in your own pure data so first of all open a pure data and then make a new uh, template so the most important object for preset is a uh, pack okay you can use uh, command and control one and then pack for example I'll make it bigger pack okay zero 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 because you want for example want to uh, have uh, four parameters and uh, this pack has a cold inlet and hot inlet this left most is hot inlet this right uh, inlet is cold inlet means what the uh, the message out on the the data will only be sent out when the hot inlet receive a trigger in the form of bang or in the form of numbers so if you want the this pack to send data right away whenever any of this parameter change you need to connect the the data of each parameter to this hot inlet using trigger bang so trigger bang and then a a means anything so you can connect the data over there but you trigger the processing in the right inlet okay you can connect this for example the first parameter in the form of number okay so that's it so you now want to make a duplicate of it connect on that side and then you want to duplicate again connect to the other inlet and this one to this one in this case you do not need to connect the bank because this is already function as the bank so you can and then after this uh, you can uh, view the 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 the, the data that already being packed into one message over here but before you can send into a uh, message you need an object call show okay if you do not have this show object don't worry I'll, uh, you can make it manually just copy this one this one so make this object inlet list prepend set list trim and then outlet that's it so list mean you make a list prepend mean you add the new parameter in the uh, after the first parameter if you put append means you put before the first parameter and then set this one function the right inlet as uh, to clear up this uh, message okay so you can make this object and then you save as show next time you click uh, uh, next time you make an object show it will function right away just don't forget to keep this in the same directory where you work your project okay so now if you change this data one it will show there here if you change the data four it will change only this one this one three it will change this one two it will change as easy as that one okay now you want to uh, send this data into the related uh, receive for example receive with then you want to connect this is just for checking later on and then receive room then receive 
dumping and then receive wet for example so what need you need to do is to connect with an object just add with and then dollar one tool one and then comma dollar one refers to the first article of the list and then add uh sorry this should be add room then dollar two comma add dumping dollar three and then add wet dollar four you cannot connect right away you need this object uh, trigger bang 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 and then just put a bang over here to set the parameters later on and then you can send this one to this list and then you add an object add over there uh, semi it means what add semicolon okay so that you will see later all the semicolon that was that is created set is just to clear up the message okay before processing then you can send it there oh maybe before you send here it's better to connect with this connector yeah i call it connector the function is just simply as a connector okay just put there then put there and then that's it okay so when you connect this into a message later on here you can have this okay something is not right let me check Let me change this. Um, okay. Yeah. I should connect this here. Okay. Sorry, it was a mistake. So add with add add with dollar one add room dollar two add dumping dollar three and the last one add wet dollar four okay over there that's it all right so if you click here you have this list of numbers that is readily to be uh, executed as a parameter so this is the parameters this are the preset of the parameters you have width room damping wet look at the composition is uh, semicolon and then with one means what it will be sent to receive with this parameter with so if you click here you will see all the parameter will be received there there one two three four can you see that okay now uh, in the case you want to have uh, more than one parameter so you need to just multiply that okay and then you connect this into a gate the name is bigot okay and that gate can only pass data when it is open when it's closed it won't send data so you connect that with this toggle and this one the 
math to trigger opening and closing automatically so you can do that uh, and then you can copy this for second preset but change this one into kit number two and then copy again change this into kit number three kit number four you can delete this one for now okay so you connect this into speaker it will only be sent in the one of the preset depend on which kit is open so you can connect this to determine which kit is open because you can do this connector to make it more nith connection connect there connect there connect there and last one okay there so you can see if you click number one kit number one open the rest close if you click number three kit number three open the rest close okay so if you want to add this parameters in kit number three just click three and then set yeah now you want to change the parameter 10 11 12 and 13 you want to save in a kit number four uh, in the parameter number four change the kit and then click set now this is the parameter number four if you click it will change in the global parameter there okay as easy as that one so you can name this one as a uh, set bar. let's make it capital set uh, preset and then one is set choose preset number okay all right so you try and have fun with your project you can this for various uh, purposes so anything dealing with preset uh, and you you will need a lot of preset to make your automation project uh, easily to be done especially in the live performances so have fun in trying and manipulating whatever you want to manipulate here